All right. right. So today's objective is to acquire another full-size suitcase and potentially a carry-on suitcase as well, if I can find one that I like. So I am armed with $150 of gift cards. Let's see what we can find. Welcome back to Ruby Goes and my Moving to Canada series. Today we're going to have some fun shopping for luggage. That's what I like to see, 80% off. So I couldn't really film in store, but this is the one I ended up choosing. I paid $129 for it on sale, which is very good considering it's a larger suitcase and it's made of a very high quality material. The store did have a really good selection, but I found it pretty easy to choose really in the end. Um, I bought one from there before, so I kind of knew what I wanted and I just went in there and got it. So it's great, that's phase one done. One of the cool features about this one is the built-in TSA approved combo lock. So you can dial the combination on here, set it to whatever you like, um, and plug the zips in like they are here and then when you push the button they spring out. So very cool because you don't need to have your own padlocks that way. Oops, I forgot to take all the stuff out of my car before I came out today. Oh well. Next up I'm going to look around for a new carry-on case. This is not super essential because I could just make do with a backpack but I definitely wouldn't mind an upgrade. There is so much choice out there and I had a lot of fun looking around. There was this awesome one that was it's a hard shell and it was lime green and I thought wow that is so me but it was over $200 and I'm not prepared to spend quite that much. I scouted around and shortlisted a few and then I went back and made my decision. Time for a bit of a trial run here. That doesn't seem too hard to wheel around. So in the end for the small one I went for this one, um, decided it would be good to have a hard case because I'm going to have quite a few electronics with me and it's just a bit of added protection and it is much bigger than the backpack I've been using previously. It was also relatively inexpensive so probably not as tough as some of the other ones I looked at. Um, but this one is never going to leave my side, so I figure it's not quite as important as it would be for a checked-in baggage. And it still has a fully extendable handle, two heights on it, which is good because obviously this is quite low to the ground. It's got the four wheels, so it will do the whole 360 spin thing. And I liked how it looked inside as well. So you pack both sides, um, open this one up like that. So you put your stuff in there and then you zip that over um, and then you can put the rest of it in there and then once you've done up like that you can fold the two together without everything falling out. So I've always wondered that, how you pack a two-sided suitcase without everything falling out of the lid when you put it up. But that's how. So there we go. And this has got the strap on the side to keep stuff in. Where's my other zip gone? I should never try to do this with it standing upright, I've decided, because they get stuck. There we go. Okay, so that's that one. And now the big one. <laughs> it's funny, in the shop they don't look quite as huge as they do when you get home. This was my existing one, which actually in the scheme of things now seems quite small because I now have this red monster here. <laughs> which is awesome. I am going indefinitely so I need to be able to take as much in here as possible because it is much cheaper to fly with it than it is to post it in boxes afterwards. So, let's get the tags off and go for a suitcase tour. So, features on this one, it is super lightweight. The case itself only weighs 3.5 kg but will hold up to 23, which is the limit for my airline. Um, it has this expandable bit here, so um, this has already been... Is it? No, it has So if we undo this zip, all the way around like that it gets this pop out bit so you can make it even more full 
because this part acts as like the lid so you can pop that out a little bit. You're only going a few centimetres that way but every little counts. <laughs> Um, again, it has the four wheels. I find this really important, especially as I'm going to be by myself. The reason being that it's so much easier to manoeuvre when you can spin it 360 like this and when you can tip it both directions if you want to and it also means you can wheel it upright. Um, just from experience, it is so much easier to manage that way, especially if you're going to have other things on top, which I'm going to be doing because I'll have three suitcases with me when I first arrived at the airport. So that's that. It also has an eight year warranty which is completely useless to me because I'm probably not going to come back to New Zealand just to return my suitcase if there was a problem. This, oh yeah that's right, that's the lock design that I was showing earlier just over here. And anti-theft tamper proof zippers. Now I didn't understand what this means until the lady in the shop showed me and I'm going to demonstrate it the way she did. What it means basically is that if you get a pen and you push in the zip you can't get in, it won't let you in. Um, if you have a standard zipper it will just pop open and somebody can get in and then they can do this and it will just go back shut again. So this one guards against that extra security feature there. Otherwise it's very similar to my existing one, so it's got the one big front pocket on there, little plastic thingies from the tags, and it's got another pocket here. It's not particularly well protected, so you wouldn't want anything too vulnerable in there. And then... the inside so it's absolutely massive which is the perfect two pockets there I usually like to put shoes in those I don't know why I just do um, no idea what that's for really but you can unzip that and put things in there and then you've got a huge main compartment with the usual straps and whatnot so very cool um, and very light for its size so all in all I'm very happy with what I managed to achieve today and I am looking forward to packing everything inside. So a couple of tips I will give you for choosing luggage. Um, as always, feel free to disagree, but this is my personal preference. Um, for your check-in, go for bright colours because most people have plain, boring black or grey ones and there are millions of them coming down the conveyor belt that all look the same. If you have brightly coloured ones, you'll be able to spot yours so much easier and there's far less chance of someone else accidentally picking up yours and running off with it. Um, last time I flew with this green one, I was literally the only person with a green suitcase, so it was really, really easy to find. Personally, I prefer canvas over the hard case ones um, just because they are a lot lighter. Some airlines will allow you to have um, up to 30 kilos for your check-in baggage but um, Air New Zealand's only 23 so um, you're better to have the lightest bag you can possibly get I think. I guess it depends what you're traveling with. I mean I generally only put like clothes and personal items in there anyway. Uh, the only exception to that would be there was one situation once where I was standing on someone's front porch with my suitcase in the pouring rain for about 20 minutes and <laughs> the water started to seep through after a while. So I guess if you think you might be in that situation, maybe you'd want a hard case. Um, but no, I'm pretty happy to have my canvas ones for now. You'll want to make sure that you have lockable zippers. So that's these ones that have the two rings here in the middle so that when you join them, you can put a padlock through there. Um, if you've got the combo lock thing like on this one, then it doesn't really matter because you'll just use that and you just chuck your zippers in there. Um, but if you don't have a suitcase with that, not all of them do, um, then you'll want to make sure that you can at least put a padlock around the main compartment. I could just about pack myself in here. Don't do that by the way, it's illegal. Thank you so much for watching and following my progress here on Ruby Goes. Hopefully you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you very soon.